Sasa nani huyo? Please introduce yourself. That's uh, your camera. Ha. My name is Melissa Lesilale or mostly known as Pambo Mel. I am a hairstylist, makeup artist, a mother of two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're looking lovely. Oh, thank you. So, <laughs> so Nicolisa, those street <laughs> questions. So, so who did your, your makeup? Myself. Yeah, yeah. So, you na jifanya. Ten minutes tops. <laughs> I also did my own makeup. Oh, you look very handsome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you miss? <laughs> Are you miss bus? <laughs> nakutaka kwa nyumba. <laughs> Kuspray nyuele na coconut oil nakutaka kwa nyumba. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Less is more. Yes. Less is more. How is it working with all these major brands? For example, actually, let me start with the uh, goat himself, Kipchoge. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that... Let me say that was a plug from my very good friend Kobe. Mm -hmm. So, but it was it was amazing. At least I, I think the first time we came to the and then when I get there, no, na, ah, okay. I was like, okay, compose yourself. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. You know what? I'll continue doing what I normally do. Uh -huh. But and it, he's such a humble human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wh were you guys chatting while you were doing the makeup and everything? Uh, I'm a he's a man, man of uh, very few words. <laughs> yeah. So at wise words. Too, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me say that. <laughs> Who among when you may work now, when you look on a fan and then you're feeling, oh, th there's a lot, there's conversation. Mm -hmm. When you look at them, they are quiet, like in, ah, come they do talk. Ni wengi, mm -hmm. ni wengi actually. Uh. So, to answer the list of Kwanza, number one. I tell you what's up, ni wengi. Ah, la 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 la. Okay. I think most of them that I, I um, interact with, mm -hmm. they're very, they're normal people. They're normal people. Ni see what you know now. But uki, uki kwa, now, you just relax because they make you comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're in the likes of kina keta tres, kina, you know. Saudi soul. Saudi uh -huh. soul. Actually, Saudi soul. Easy people. Very friendly. Uh, you know, kina mkurugenzi, kina... <laughs> but they're all good See, people. No, no, sister, you're a superstar in your field. You may interact with a superstar. How do you feel? Okay, uh, it's normal. Sister, you need to go, guy. How? What? Um, how, how long does it usually take, like, to do an, on average, like, to do hair, to do um, the beauty, uh, mm -hmm. that's the makeup, mm -hmm. on a set? Kuna time una rakishwa, kuna time... You have to take your time. There's a time when you the, the previous day, had the yes, next day. Yes, uh. Uh, In a depend. Now to set on it, assistant director, the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, anataka mtu wao wakwe on set in 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Oh, naona hii makeup, ama hii hair, enyea hii work. So, you have to meet halfway. You have to meet halfway. Because mm -hmm. there are easy hairstyles, or rather easy makeup, and there is a, there's complicated hairstyles and complicated makeup. Mm -hmm. So, you also have to, now that's where you come in as a, um, uh, profession in your field and tell, oh, hey, I know you're doing your job, but I'm also doing my job. The realistic timelines for this is maybe 30 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to to halfway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To your back up, uh, Numa, behind the cameras, that is, uh -huh. uh, we are having a conversation. You told me, Sazingine, you are forced to read the whole script. Oh, you have to read the whole script. You have to. You have to understand the characters. <laughs> yes. Sisi, I'm going to actor. I mean, like actor, producer, director, yeah. that's the final product I'm talking about screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, what we want on hair is just hair. It's actually a very big uh, um, addition to film. For the people who don't know, I do a lot of hair and makeup in film. What's your name, Sasa? Sasa, pale kwa nyuele. Why it's important for a hairstylist or even a makeup artist to read the whole script? Manake, kuna kitu naitua, if you're shooting off sequence, off sequence means leo hii, leo ntarenga kitare tatu. Mm -hmm. If my hair looks like this, na tuna repeat hii siku in the next one month. Na funny, kaika venye hii siku imeka. So <laughs> one so month. Now, one month. Unapigianga picha, muna kama. Unapigia picha, nini? So now, the hairstyle you choose uh -huh. for continuity purposes matter. So for you to know, eh, eh, you have kusoma hii script, ujue hii scene, ina repitiwa wapi. So it's very involving. Mm -hmm. It's very involving. It's not about that into a makeup na fanya. Chuchu chuchu nywele ama makeup. Ah ah. You have to understand the day of shoot. You have to understand kama ni asubui nywele amtu na kaje asubui. Kama ametoka makeup yake na kaje ivo. So it's very involving. 
kuna sawa shai like soma script alafu kajipata unajua lines za character <laughs> eh kama hii nile pata nasema nini oh shit anaslapiwa nywele na fire and heavy so you have to use nywele ndefu ndio ikuwe na hiyo dramatic move yeah so you know the script actually mm -hmm. mm. i can hear the accent na sikia i can hear the accent where is the accent from jamani mimi mamangu ni mpokomo tana river mm -hmm. babangu ni mtaveta coast so ama ama coastal bantu coastarian yeah, so ukinipeleka kule wa Kiswahili naenda Kiswahili cha kwetu very fast ile nasikia tena suit changu kitaanza kunisikitisha <laughs> so ndanza kwa na matamchi ya lugha um alikuwa ananiambia pokomo za actually less in the country so if you meet a fellow pokomo which he has yes apparently uh, in this ako pale nyuma ya camera eh ako eh and she was like oh yani Najua kuna mpokoma kitana mpokoma mwingine that's very good luck because yes. we are very few. Yes. Mm. <laughs> we are very few. Lakini sisi wa Masai tuko kila mahali. Yeah, <laughs> Hata anadio meshangaa nikikwambia Masai wamtu hapa tunajua mtu hapa. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um when did you begin your career as a makeup artist and a hair, hair stylist? So mimi wale students nilikuwa nasonga na nyasi pale primary school nikitega watu ngipa punishment. Um, from classic. Eh, mwejua kenu kwa ata kuliza. From classic. So, yeah. nilizaliwa tuna kujua kusonga nina nini. Mm. And then, I opened the salon when I was 21 years old. And uh, till now, it's still there. Alafu, uh, professionally, in terms of film, I have been in six, this is, I think, seventh year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, yeah. Six, seven years. Um, um, what are some of the challenges? Like, see, the skill you mentioned, if you uh, learned it through like a school, I mean, you say that it came naturally. Yeah. Um, what are the some some of the challenges like we experience, and how did you come up being noticed to a point that you're working with all these superstars and celebrities? Mm, first of all, watch and say many mungu. It's God's purely God's favor. I operate in God's favor, and then secondly, me. If you want more in life, you need to put in the work. So I, I wanted to learn these things, so I push myself. So I'm like, okay, na juanyuele. So in Amanisha, anything insane in regards to hair, it's something I can learn and it's something I can, I can research and know about. Mm -hmm. If it's makeup, it's because I have the passion for it. When you have passion for something and you go for it, you actually you're in line with your purpose in life. So me, I knew my purpose in life maybe earlier. Mm -hmm. So I just focused on my purpose in life. And I think yondo likafungua milango with the help of God, of course. Um, but some of the challenges was um, uh, getting in the industry and then you don't know a lot of things. There are so many vitus, as in words in atumika, the productions. Can, pan. Eh, aujui, weo wengetu aujui, nini. Some of the time you used to mess up, like you're not supposed to be on set at this time. In the connection, it was blocking. Blocking is supposed to be there. So learning it does it was challenging because you know sometimes you don't get gracious people who teach you into into oh by the fanya even you know sometimes mm -hmm. we are our own competitors because unaenda mahali you think ah this is a place but kuna mtu mwingine anaona ah wewe unaweza kuja chukue job yangu kitu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but um i keep saying when you're focused on your goal that's it na ukiwa na roho safi mungu hezi kukuni god will just lift you up as you go Mm -hmm. yeah. Breakthrough moment yako ilikuwa gani? Um, wow. I'm sure kuna that moment you were yes. like, yes. Let me actually do a shout out to uh, the African director, <laughs> Mr. Tosh Kitonga, because mm -hmm. um, he was shooting a, a film, and then to me likuwa salon, mi kwa salon, mi kwa tu salon, si kwa na do anything a film. So na songa, and then they needed a hair stylist wa kujo shikilie one night. And nilipoenda <laughs> Nilipoenda day one, nikamaliza, and I was making kina Nick Mutuma, Brenda Rimu, then in 2018. Uh, so one, ni mali, ni tu. <laughs> but I was like, I will keep calm and do what I do best. But after hapo, akanipatia opportunity, kept calling me for jobs, kept calling me. So I can say he introduced me to this. Uh, alongside, I have to mention Lois, and alongside um, uh, Umija. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so wana ni juju wa nikisema hivu. Shout out to them actually. Shout out to them. <laughs> Umetaje wengine pia na wajua. Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on a personal on level. A personal so yeah, level, yeah, shout out to them and thank you for giving her the breakthrough that she needed. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, before I even tell you what we were discussing uh, in today's show, mm-hmm. where can people get you on social media? And yeah. if people need your services, how can they get them? So, so I the have, uh, oh, yes. so I have a salon at Pambo Mel Studio. It's at Mudidi Road, Westlands. Uh, I have an online shop for accessories with Pambo Mel where I ship accessories for all hair, like anything hair, and also I create accessories. And uh, yeah, and now my personal page, Pambo Mel Studio, where I also, I am a model, so cast, so I do a lot. So you'll find all that at Pambo Mel Studio. Pambo Mel, and then Pambo Mel Studio, Studios. and then accessorize with Pambo Mel. But I've, I've seen the links, the so the if you go to Pambo Mel, you'll see <laughs> the links yes. at the top directing yes. you to yeah. each uh, of the sites. Yeah. So, the question of the day, mm-hmm. or rather the discussion that we were having, mm-hmm. uh, King Charles and Queen Camilla are in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I don't even call me a party leakage, but what, uh, what's, what, what's your like what's your opinion or uh, what do you think so far about their tour but i want to focus specifically on how they appear like their fashion sense and their hairstyles and the way they were dressed mm-hmm. what do you think about them did so they bring the royalty feel for the queen i think she she looked royalty mm-hmm. your hairstyle like it's very in any party princess diana in any party like ako tu ukimona tu unajua huyu ni wa huyu tu ni royalty in yeah. her makeup that is very subtle i love it for her age actually it's age appropriate mm-hmm. and the hair i also feel like it, it was just it's just on point it's on point and i'm not saying this because <laughs> <laughs> the queen but no, yeah no but you have a point it does royalty. look it like does, royalty yes it, uh-huh. it, it does look like royalty how about our first lady Style yake kunyoa. Uh-huh. I find it very, you know, affordable one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she has to focus on the important <laughs> issues of the country. Uh-huh. So yeah, and then you know, short hair makes you like look younger, like cuts down some years. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's and then I kona kichwa ya kunyoa. Unajua kuna mtu anayoa batana kichwa kunyoa, yeye akona kichwa kunyoa. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> she's rocking the short hair. Yeah. Um all right. Now What's the hairstyle when you share younger Leah? Sila zimu taje ya mtu. Mm-hmm. Lafu kwa zile za guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Asa yu imetoka wapi? Hmm. We? The, I hope si offend mtu. So kuna yu ya style ya lines, uh, condros, or rather Ghanaians. Alafu yu kwa <laughs> wivu. Vinsimu unajua condros ni nini? Uh, Abuja. Hili <laughs> kwelezea. <laughs> He is actually also in the beauty industry. Ah, nice. Na he's a DJ as well. Nice. So, <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> a connection. Before I delay, explain the bad hairstyle. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Kwa, kwa yeah, he's all nail technology. Mm-hmm. Ah. So, so, mina kulanga kucha. <laughs> Where's the client? Where to? Mm. But you can use stick Builder, yeah. like this is <laughs> <laughs> I am floating here. Let's go back to talking to the bad <laughs> uh, So we can explain the condros. So si juu kama nyi mtaelewa ka vijana, but I think the ladies do understand. Kuna hiyo msho wana za lines, za braids. Yeah. Aitwa condros uh-huh. ama is it kubwa? Eh, is it nono? Yeah. Absolutely like shaisha, mtu aenda kuweka weave hapa hivi. Ah, so ina separate hivi. Ina inaikwa weave. Sasa wasielewi the direction ni condros ni weave make wewe umekuwa tu hapa okay i'm sorry i know i'm offended now i'm offending someone right now <laughs> but it's a thing <laughs> no, like, yeah, like, i always feel like it should always be maybe just the condros zibaki ama weave mm-hmm. choose one direction we cannot when you mix all of them they just afu uzi naonekana hapo so I, every time i see it i'm like okay mm. aya <laughs> tumuuliza was the best as in yenye una feeling aya hii inaweza tokea in most people like iko tu sawa hiyo ni i i always like updos simple hairstyles like ume gel yako juu na ka extension 
umeka baby hair zako nzuri not those first years uh, baby hair umekata nywele ukaeka no just you know enough i find that style working with so many people because it's very i believe in uh, less is more less mm -hmm. is more mm. yeah less is more uh, do you know why i have dreadlocks why pesa kinyozi kuna watu wanaenda kinyozi how many times ah uh, mimi after 2 weeks naenda kinyozi naona Alright, right, hata yako ni afadhali two weeks. You're not supporting the Kenyan economy right now. No, supporting. I believe hata ukiangalia cost pia watu wa dread. Tunaenda salon, yeah. but not as often as someone goes to. <laughs> How many times though? Okay, mine I well, was I was told that mine don't need to go like sijui weekly ama nini. Yes, Na zaenda monthly. Mm. Nikipitisha two months baada iko sawa, itashikwa shiko, itarudi. Mm. Sasa watu ilikuwa sisi tupate rent ya, ya salon wapi? Sasa si, tumesema kuna kucha. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna kucha sasa. Do you, um, when you're working with uh, male clients, mm -hmm. what do you do with their hair sasa? Uh, most of, most of the time, time wanakuja for, for uh, plating. I think our salon is mostly known na kusongwa, mm -hmm. na styling. Mm. Yeah, because quizzy also people are, are shy from uh, relaxing their hair. So guys are going very natural, like mm, more natural yeah. hairstyles. So natural hair styles need so styling, kusonga nywele. So most of the most of our clients like plating. Mhm. Mm mm. Uh, Unaweza plate? Ah, na nywele zaidi hapo. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Unajua kuna venye pia. Sasa unaona venye wewe uko. Hiyo mm. ni brand yako unapata. Mm -hmm. So mimi naweza na naonaanga na hapo. Kuna time nishaifupisha kabisa. Alafu sasa anakuambia you don't look like yourself. <laughs> yeah, U true. Enda urudi venye tumekuzoea. Unajua kuna hiyo. Ah, right. Yeah. Venye nilianza kuweka ndevu alafu nikaanza kukwambia <laughs> nilipatiwa majina Jesus <laughs> Moses <laughs> uh, watu wanaanza kuniita sasa unajua aka yake ni wise one sasa wise, wise one, one ilirudi kwangu lakini kinyo anaanza oh. kuambia eh kababa unaka mtoto <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah um as we wind up mm -hmm. what can you tell people who are looking up to join the industry either in beauty either uh, being a hairstylist mm -hmm. in makeup uh, in makeup as well um as long as you have a passion for it go for it like even me na jeka hapa kwanza na announce if you feel like you can do just reach out to me in my dms i think most people do that and uh, as long as god allows me to have an opportunity i always call any person who has dm me i think i'd always do that as long as you also do a good job because what one on tu ni kwenda na kufanya you need to exhume professionalism you need to exhume um, excellence so you need to perfect your skill and even if it's not perfect just when it dm to we will mm -hmm. we will work through it if you want to join mm -hmm. this industry but also anyone who you know who can uh, mentor you or can teach you some of the things we all learn from people you you also you always go there i keep saying hair is not at even you to say oh you just a dress and then it's perceived mediocre mm -hmm. actually growing up hair styling is perceived mediocre mm -hmm. but it looks more it looks more eh ati au kusoma or or fail exams that's why right now i can i am a living testimony that it is actually a career that you can focus on and it puts food on my table and it has hope opened doors for me mm -hmm. that i didn't imagine i would so yeah if you have a passion in hair if you have a passion in makeup follow it connect yourself with the right people mm -hmm. and that's it mm. yeah umesema watu wa ku dm but others are wondering tuna dm wapi <laughs> pambo pa, at pambo underscore mel yes yeah um mesquio pambo underscore mel, mel. yes all right. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having uh, Just me. to mention, my sister is also in the same industry. Oh, okay. I'm float too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to in a two salon. I'm going to accessories in every single place. So. Nice. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, um, I hope you have inspired uh, people out there. I hope so there. too. Yes, so Kitaji Services, you can see me at Pambo underscore Mel underscore studio. Just to interrupt. Yes. You can spell your Gina. Kindly. Pambo. P yeah. A M B O underscore M E L. 
Pambo, yani urembo, upambo, mm. upambe. So, pambo underscore mel. Pambo, kutambwe kiswahili. Mziyo mimi na yole wana kizunga jari mbiko. Ni kiswahili, ni kiswahili tu. Alright, um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for thank tuning you. in. We are going to go uh, on a small break, musical break. But when we come back, we also have amazing guests joining us. Um, I'm going to scratch. <laughs> Thank you. The wise one, DJ Ben Simba. Yo, Ben Simba.